Dozens of Memphis restaurant owners are banding together in support of a redesigned Tom Lee Park in downtown Memphis. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Ransom. Their newly publicized letter to the mayor revealing there are deep divisions in the downtown business community about whether a new park poses a potential threat to Memphis in May or not. Yeah, that's right. And local 24 News reporter Brad Broders breaks it down live from Tom Lee Park in downtown Memphis. Brad. Yeah, Katina and Richard, there really are divisions. That letter runs counter to concerns from the Memphis Metropolitan Hotel and Lodging Association and Beale Street Merchants Association, who fear that moving Memphis in May out of Tom Lee Park, even if it's for just one year, could have devastating consequences. I just think that it's important that people see that there is a larger vision down the road. That's why Michael Patrick and dozens of other downtown Memphis restaurant owners are on the record in support of a redesigned Tom Lee Park. Yeah, I think it could use an upgrade. The Rizzo's Diner owner joined others in a letter to Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, which read in part, few cities have been blessed with such a stunning riverfront at its doorstep. Let us not be the generation that squandered this opportunity. And if we're going to move in that direction, these are one of the milestones that has to happen. We appreciate the passion for this park. We're just as passionate about it as it's been our home for 40 some odd years. Robert Griffin is with Memphis in May, an organization that's in mediation with the Memphis River Parks Partnership to limit the impact the redesign would have on space for the annual Beale Street Music Festival and barbecue cooking contest. A state that will support the framework of Memphis in May festival events. Mayor Strickland announced last month the Memphis in May festivities would move to an undetermined location in 2021 to accommodate park construction, a move which could hurt Memphis's signature tourism events. Event. This year, a record setting economic impact of $149.1 million. Now, this afternoon, a Memphis River Parks Partnership spokesperson said he's pleased by that support in that letter from those downtown Memphis restaurant owners. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers must still sign off on a design application before any construction can begin here at Tom Lee Park. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. All right, Brad, thank you.